Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Age of Engineering with Jason Goldless Mac. Ray. So last time we had a little bit of a issue with the gold uh, and issue with me being stupid that I smelted the gold and I just wasted couple resources like for example the timer what I could just do is uh, I could make myself the redstone clock from a extra utilities I think redstone clock uh, this thing which doesn't require any gold so but I went with fancy things and I made myself a timer so yeah that's something I kind of messed up so I wasted a couple pieces of gold I have 10 gold pieces remaining uh, it's not going to be enough for doing anything well in the long run so I would like to get it like get better at mining so for that I need to get steel because of the tool forge and getting the hammer so that's what I'm going to work towards right now so let's get on to it <clears throat> all right so I as I promised I made myself a uh, extractor of camera so I have some uh, rubber I have nice amount of rubber and I expanded this room just a little bit because of the steel production and I just did a research on what actually is needed from me, especially how actually the calculator mod works, because if you will check the guide, uh, when we will get the steel, uh, we will be able to go into the calculation age, which is the, like the main thing is the calculator mod, at least for the beginning. So I was checking it out and I'm like completely like uh, confused, but hey, I hope I'll be able to make some sense of it. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, let's sleep. <laughs> let's sleep. Also, you can, you can see here that I was testing it in the creative in uh, on my test board. And let's get going. So very first thing, I'm just going to do it right away without any like uh, anything like in uh, before. Uh, so I need to get steel for which we need a blast furnace from industrial craft. So the crafting is not changed, is the same old, same old. So I need some iron item casings basic machine casing and heat conductor and I'm going with three blast furnaces because like yeah uh, I could go with one and then wait a couple of hours to get enough slack to make myself a, a blast furnace from uh, immersive engineering but I'm going to with uh, more blast furnace with multiple blast furnaces at the beginning so let's craft those uh, which I need a copper plates some iron plates and more iron plates and some rubber not an issue if I have iron which might be an issue actually I was melting uh, some iron right yeah I have two stacks and a little bit of iron Let's also get the copper, let's get the tin, because I will definitely need that. I don't think I will need a nickel and uh, I will need gold, but not right away. Alright, so I'm just going to do it one by one. So I'm just going to make the first one and then the rest will pretty much happen over the time. So here is the best basic machine casing. I'm going to use hammer to get some uh, casings. There we go. So it's uh, the rubber. I'm right now uh, plating the copper. There we go. So this is the heat conductor. So heat conductor, basic machine casing and this. So it's a blast furnace. I will have the blast furnace over here facing this way and here I will have the heat generator. In my FTB Beyond playthrough I used the uh, electric one because uh, like I was uh, making the electricity from roof uh, without anything but in here I am actually going with the solid uh, firebox so solid fuel firebox which it has the same recipe as a generator but instead of RE battery you have another heat conductor on top so let's get that one 
right eight more iron plates so i can make it into a machine casing furnace heat conductor is solid fueled firebox which i'm going to put in here again uh the little dots they these uh, these dots they need to face each other so let's place it like here and to uh, start up the solid fueled firebox all we need to do is just supply it with some uh, a solid fuel right so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to start getting some cold coke and uh, then I will just put the 23 coal in here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It will start burning and it will be producing heat, which will heat this up. But to make this work, we also need a compressor and the uh, cells, the universal fluid cells. So let's get those. Universal fluid cell. Is it actually working or did I? Okay, it's out of coal, so let's just shove another stack of coal here. Uh, so this is just a regular old recipe, so I just need some tin. And I will need two for six total. Well, not need, but want. Or should I go with just three? I think I can go, I can be satisfied with just three universal fluid itself. One for each blast furnace. So I need one, two, six, ten. So sixteen. Let's just make the plates. All right, and let's again use just use the forge hammer because it's faster way. I know the forge hammer costs some iron, but. I'm going to be honest, I don't want, I'm too lazy to go, I'm too lazy to wait. I know it sounds weird, but I'm too lazy to wait. So I want six of these. Oops. Oh, six of these, three, not six, but three. And these guys will go into the compressors and they will be making me a compressed air cells. <clears throat> so now you can see what we need. We need the compressors for each blast furnace. So I will be placing them underneath. So let's just dig a little trench for the cabling and other shenanigans. And let's get the compressors for which I need, if I'm not mistaken, I need a circuits, but that's pretty much all what I need, right? Yeah, machine casing and circuits. So I will need three of these, which is 24 more iron. Wow. Yeah, just burning through the iron like there is no tomorrow. Okay, so let's get the circuits. So one, two, three. Then I will need the machine casings. So one, two. So machine casings, electronic circuits and Cobblestone, oh sorry, stone, which is a compressor. Uh, that's one. And this is two. Also, I need some tin cables. So, I have more tin uh, being smelted in the smeltery, so that's fine. I'm just, yeah, that should be enough. All right, and let's insulate them right away and I can even place them right away down. So it will be like this, one, two, three, with two extra, which well, they will get used pretty soon. Uh, what else? Uh, I can make the third one, which why not? So this, this, and these guys. So we have all three compressors. They will be like this, this, that. Each one of them will have inside the uh, universal fluid cell. And we need to get uh, the cell up into the blast furnace for which I'm going to use more tin and I will make myself a uh, ejector upgrades. So I will need 12 of these. 
All right, here is the first ejector upgrade. I'm going to set it to the top and I will shove it here. There we go. And the fluid cell will end up in here just fine. Now we need to extract it. So in FTV Beyond, I used a uh, fluid tank in between, which doesn't work perfectly. Uh, so to actually make it work exactly how I want, I'm going to go with a transfer nodes from extra to these. Because, yeah, it sounds like a thing that should work. I hope I can make the uh, transfer nodes. Let's finish these two. Let's put it also in. Um, boom. Oops. Uh, so, let's see. Transfer node. So I will need a uh, this, which requires redstone, transfer pipe and a hopper, which is aluminium and the chest. I will need three of these. Transfer pipes, they need re hopper duct, glass, stone slab, all I can get. And then also I will need transfer filter because I want, well, I don't want to get uh, junk in the compressor uh, in a way of the uh, steel, so it doesn't clog up. Uh, so to get this, I just need some redstone, stone, transfer pipe and item filter. I will get four. And for item filter, it's okay. So this is pretty much everything possible. So if you remember I made in the previous episode, I made these, where did I put them? These guys, so see, they come in handy. <laughs> uh, I will need also some aluminium, which I actually don't have enough. Yeah, I need to process more aluminium. So still the only way of processing aluminium is in uh, in the smeltery to get one for one. Okay, so I can't double it. So let's just get, I don't know, half a stack. Or like full furnace. Yeah, one full furnace. It should be good enough. Because I need three transfer nodes, each one costs five aluminium, so that's 15. There we go. So I just need some more wood. Wood, 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 wood. Where's my wood? Where did I put my wood? I had a load of wood. Oh, I'm blind. Okay. So, hopper, oops, hopper, chest. So let's get like four chests, it's not a big deal. Three hoppers. And I need transfer pipes and stone. Wow! Okay, transfer pipe, it's for one transfer pipe, okay? So it's not like the nice leaf, like you will have uh, 64 of them. So I will need... Okay, so just getting some uh, glass for the transfer pipes. There we go. And now let's start with the transfer pipes. If I'm counting correctly, I need 10. Boom. Uh, then I will turn three into transfer nodes. There we go. And then I need a item filter, which I need sticks and a, a string, right? Yep, and I will need three of these, well, three, four of these actually. So let's get sticks. String. So one, two, three, four. Let's get the note, uh, sorry, the filter. And these guys I'm actually going to configure right away with the empty cell. So universal fluid cell, whitelist, match NBT, match meta, ignore or dict. There we go. 
So you can go back here. Okay, you will not go back there, so I can just put you down here. <coughs> uh, nice, this is done. So let's continue with the copper. And actually I can go and place these guys down. So boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's for now since I don't have the blocks the uh, furnaces let's just use this there we go just so I have it uh, on side and I will need also a wrench so what can I use for which range can I use? Can I use the Applied Energy Sticks range? Because mostly you can use like cross mod uh, ranges, so... No. So I will need probably the uh, extra utilities one, which is not a big problem. I just need one piece of redstone, uh, three pieces of iron, and I will need a red flower. It shouldn't be a problem. It should be some somewhere. I hope. There we go. And as I said, I just need one. Ouch! I'm sorry, bees. I'm just collecting flowers. What's the problem with you? Jesus Christ. Oh man. Right, so let's get the XO to this wrench. Which should be like this. What's that? Iron rod. I use this for? I'm just curious. Oh, so it's the rocketry thing. Okay. Okay. It's good to know. I don't know if it's expensive or not. Uh, hold on. No, no, no. Okay, so this is for 144. Yeah, yeah. I, I just thought that I found an exploit. But nope. No exploits in here. So, cool. Uh, anyway, I want the uh, wrench. Uh, so wrench, wrench achievement. Yay! Right. So I want to do these so they don't connect to each other. There we go. I want to place the transfer filters down there, and I want to put the configured things in those so you go here you go here and you go there uh, <clears throat> now I will need a chest sitting here because it will still extract the stuff like the uh, steel and the slack so it has uh, some place to go <coughs> which I can do actually this way like on the top Yeah, and that actually should, in theory, be all. Where is the cell I? Oh, it's here. Okay. Uh, so if I will now put the cell here, it will empty out. Uh, question, uh, does the uh, industrial hemp, if you will break, only the top uh, regrow or does it not regrow and you need to break it like fully? Because, like, I don't know. Oh, it looks like it regrows. That's nice. So, yeah. It's very cool. So, just break the top and it will regrow. Nice. Uh, I need uh, more uh, filters because of the issue that the uh, cell is being put into the chests, which I don't want. Fortunately, this is not really like expensive to make, so not too worried. Or should I say, not too much expensive. Right? So, now I can put a the chest over here. I know I could like funeral it into one place, but honestly, 
I would need to think and I am it's hard to think <laughs> so I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the filter but instead of whitelist I will just do the blacklist so you go here you go here you you and I need one more chest which I'm going to make myself a jungle chest because oh crap we don't have that uh, we don't have that mod right yeah all right so let's do this uh, thing so I just need a plank chest and what what am I doing wrong in here oh. stick this and the wood there we go tripwire and the reason why am I doing a tripwire is to make a trap chest because if you you can then place a trap chest in between another two chests so this is how you can make multiple chests of course it will emit a redstone signal which should not harm anything in here so let's place this guy here this guy there and we are set to go with production of the steel so now I just need to make the blast furnaces and solid fuel fireboxes which should be pretty much straightforward and without too much of a hustle but I think I calculated it correctly that's that's interesting so here is one two blast furnaces and then the solid uh, fireboxes okay which I just need some cobblestone to get the furnace so one two and boom two of those nice so boom no I uh, will need to rotate this guy. I don't have a wrench. I don't think this wrench will work on this. Definitely not. So let's just put these down. And let's make myself a industrial craft wrench. Because I don't think I made it. That's the problem when you are playing two pretty much same-ish packs. Well, when you are playing two packs at the same time where uh, stuffs like you are and do uh, you are doing the same things there so it gets a little bit confusing also probably you are saying i am wasting resources i am doing some things wrong uh, which is possible because i am really not that kind of guy that does a perfect uh uh I'm not that kind of guy that does a perfect like uh, preparations and not to waste anything at all. So just yeah, just suck it, <laughs> just suck it. Uh, I have no idea why do I have an egg. All right. So this actually now should be all working just fine. So if I will put this here, it should compress it. It should get it here and then it should get sucked out with the transfer node back down into the compressor. So let's see if that works. It should appear back here. Yes, that works. And we are getting the air here. So now I can just do this for this and that. These guys are working. Nice, we are wasting some power. Cool, <laughs> but yeah. Now only thing that is required here is uh, to put some uh, fuel in. So I am just interested if the coal coke works in these or not. Okay, it works. Nice. So let's just split it. I will have ten here and ten here. And now I just need to put in some iron. Iron, iron, 
and iron. And it should start heating up. As you can see, it transmits 20 heat. So the electric one, that, that it can transfer more. There is also a fluid firebox. A fluid fuel, or is it liquid fuel? Yeah, liquid fuel firebox. This guy that works on liquids. Maybe it works with the creosote. I don't know. That's something I haven't tested. So, and I probably will not test it because I don't see a reason to test it. But hey, if you want to let me know if uh, the creosote oil works in the liquid fueled firebox, uh, I might maybe just, for example, replace one of the fireboxes with that. It might be like uh, possible to do. And now we are pretty much waiting. Alright, so I'm going to make myself another tank, but this time I'm going to try something new. Uh, so I'm going to try out the deep resonance tank. It can hold up 16 buckets and there's something called like, it is also capable of mixing the characteristics of liquid crystal, which I have no idea what it means, but it is slightly cheaper than the Android tank. I don't know if it can pull items in we will see if not well we can still pull it out of this so yeah and it should be like this so tank and let's just place it here nice okay so it can but question if i will do this Will it remember? It does not remember. Also, yeah. So that means I can't really put it in between these and suck the creosote like I'm doing with these. Well, I could break them and place it back, but yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is just set this to extract. You gotta be kidding me! So this tank is completely useless for us. Because it doesn't seem like it can accept the fluids. Like, it can accept it now, but I need to break it and put it down. Or actually I can break... Actually... You know what I can do? I can do this. Uh, let's do it the other way around. So I will place the tank. I will set this to accept. And then I will put this, and I will set this to extract. Yeah, it works. <coughs> Good. <coughs> nice. So, yeah, it's cheaper, it has its own downsides, so... I understand. I do understand. But cool! So, yeah, this is emptying out, this is emptying out, we are getting lots of coal coke, which is great. We can also use the coal coke in this generator, so, like, that. Awesome, and we should be soon getting our first steel. Awesome. 